you know, it's very weird to have a friendly games or a competition for a national team in to the EuroLeague season. So I don't think that it's the right thing um, to do is to have that um, during that time because you're just getting um, getting a groove with your new teammates on your club team and, and then you leave to go play for a national team and then come back. You know, for me, it's, um, it's not good for the, for the club. Uh, would it be fair for some players to get uh, the, their national team to the World Cup and then the others to come and play? Well, I mean, it's not about fair or not fair. It's about um, who can play. <laughs> Obviously, you know, if Panthinaikos doesn't want us to play, we don't play. Um, so it's not about who gets us there, who doesn't. It's, you know, it's like saying uh, that a player comes uh, the first year, they go to win to the world championships, they get us qualified. And then let's say me or Prentices can't play because they got us there. No, we played 10 years on Greek, uh, I mean, the Greek uh, national team. So it's, you can't look at it like that. Is it fair? Is it not fair for who to play? It's who's available. It's difficult uh, to really know what, what the best way would be. Um, I think to, to take a break in the season is, is difficult, uh, and I think it's better probably to have it in the summer. But then you come up with, well, how much you guys get to rest in the summer? Um, so to find a, a solution the right way for the athlete where, you know, if you take a break during the year, then I think we're going to have more games closer together or we're going to miss games. Um, from our club team, which isn't right in my opinion either, so I don't know.